Chris here, RV TV. I am leaving Mountain View RV Park in Baker City, Oregon. Yay! I got done what I came here to do. I got quite a bit of video edited, uploaded. Took a little rest. Now I'm heading down to Idaho. Okay, I cut my stay here one day short. I want to get down. That way, uh, when I go into Boise, it'll be Monday morning. Today is Sunday. New park, RV park itself is a beautiful place. Great facilities. But the only thing I didn't care for was being next to that playground. I got kind of noisy with kids. It's hard to work. Interstate 84. We got about, I guess, 90 miles. We're going to go down to a town called Caldwell, Idaho. Ain't no trees here. It's kind of like high mountain desert type area. So long, Baker City. It's a cute place. Definitely worth a stop if you're traveling through this area. Early morning should make pretty good time. You know, Boise's a big time city. That's why I wanted to get down here on Sunday. Then that way on Monday I can just shoot right into Best Buy, go find a Wells Fargo, some shopping. Then we're going to head out of Boise tomorrow. Check it out, the sign said cement plant. I need to stop cleaning the windshield up and stuff. Let's stop up here and take a look at this thing. It looks massive from here. One shot of this thing. It, look how big it is. My goodness. We're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we're out in the middle of nothing here. Kind of a neat little area here. It's like a little gorge or something. Canyon. All right, let me find a place to pull off up here. Okay, up we go. You know, as soon as I pull this drone out, the wind starts. <laughs> kind of Murphy's Law. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the big silos. So that must be a, that whole mountain is full of the lime they need to make this cement. Here's a great look at 84. That's the direction we're heading. Look at that thing. My goodness. That is huge. And that's the direction we just came from. All right, these winds are cranking up on me. I got to land. I'm getting wind warnings on the controller. Okay, get landed. We'll head on down the road. That was fun to look at. Not much else out here. <laughs> kind of a barren stretch of road. All right, we'll get back on 84. Not too many more miles ago anyway. Kind of a short trip. Look at the U-Haul hauling that old truck. That's a clean looking truck. Look at that thing. 
you know, that's a way to travel. The guy's probably got him his refrigerator, couch, and his old truck with him, and a dog. <laughs> Man. Okay, see what happens when you drive too long by yourself. All right, we don't have that much farther to go. Staying at in Caldwell tonight, just a cheap little campground, nothing special. It's a place to lay over for a night before we're going to Boise. Everything else around Boise was real expensive. Caldwell's about 20 miles uh, before you, maybe not even that far, maybe about 15 miles before you get into Boise. Hey, I see water. Look, river. Look on the left. It should be the Snake River. Well, heck, we gotta check that out. We got time. Let me find a good place to pull off or exit. Maybe we could get a quick drone shot of it. That is the Snake River. I think that feeds into the Columbia. as any. Whoops, that guy's having a bad day. The old police getting a ticket. That's one thing I drive slow. I don't care about speed. Burns up too much fuel too. In a van I average around 65 miles an hour. If I go up any faster the fuel just gauge just drops quicker. I see a boat down there too. I see a little pull out area. Perfect. All right. Okay, let me get parked. Let's walk over and check out the Snake River. Much warmer here than up in that Baker City. We dropped down quite a ways in elevation. Snake River, it's a big time river, you know, it goes through Idaho Falls, the evil Knievel jumped that Snake River Canyon years ago. Pretty big river. Anyway, all this heads, I guess, into the Columbia, I'm pretty sure it does. Probably great fishing in there too. Very good as place as any. Let's launch a drone. Before we get back on the road. Take a little break here. Go. Wow, that looks different from up here, huh? That island right out there. You know, with a boat, you could probably sit out there and fish all day. Be a good place to camp if you had a boat. Way down there, there are some boats. I don't know if you can see them. Pretty area. Still kind of barren, no trees. There's 84. Another back look around. Okay, let me get landed and we'll get back on the road. Little stop, but 
man, did I get attacked by mosquitoes. The van is full of them, too. <laughs> I left the windows open. Oh, no. Look on 84, we don't have far at all. I'm kind of taking my sweet time. It's only like 90 miles from Baker down to Caldwell. All right, get ready. We should be almost at state line. I've been seeing this many Idaho plates as I have uh, Oregon. Yeah, they got this bridge under construction. But this is a Snake River and we get the other side, guess what? Idaho! Well, Oregon, you've treated me very well. I will miss you. Thank you so much, and all the state parks, everything. What a great experience in Oregon this summer. I will be back. Look at that. We are now crossing the Snake River. Get ready, hang on to your seats. We are in Idaho. Yay! Welcome to Idaho, everyone. We did it. Righty. Well, Caldwell ain't very far at all. Just right down the road. I think it was called Caldwell Campground. I'm going to pull in this rest area here. Take a break for a while. What a hectic drive. <laughs> nah, just teasing. Park back here like the semis. Maybe make a cup of coffee or something. Okay, here we go. We'll find that campground, get parked for the night. Very busy day tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff to take care of. We'll get the heck out of Boise. Down in the description, there's all kinds of links to help support the channel. Buy me a cup of coffee. Shop on Amazon. Even get a t-shirt or coffee mug. All that really helps the channel grow and I appreciate it all. Thank you. Okay, talk soon. <laughs>